Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica, I'm here with your June 2016 monthly advice readings. Um, and this is for Cancer. But please also watch your Moon and Rising Sign readings as well for um, additional messages uh, that may be useful for you. Um, and please bear in mind that these are general readings and so they may not apply to everybody or not in the same way. If you would like to get a private reading specific to you and what you're going through, um, then you can just go to my website um, and have a look around. The link is below. Um, just have a look around. There's a bunch of uh, types of readings that I offer uh, covering um, different costs and different lengths of um, readings. Um, so I'm sure you're going to find something that is suitable for you there, okay? And I look forward to seeing you. I look forward to your readings. Um, okay, so Cancer, big month. Um, really really cool month for you okay so we have the general energies we have a week by week view of the month and this is the general energies or the overall energies covering the entire month we have the eight of cups with the ace of rods or the ace of wands okay so this is really really good okay the eight of cups talks about um, walking away from something, moving forward, more importantly, you're not just walking away, you're moving forward from something, okay? Um, because you have something new coming in, for a lot of you, this is going to be career, um, personal projects, personal business, um, any kind of creative project um, that you're trying to get off the ground. Um, also, I'm seeing love in the cards as well for you guys, okay? So... Um, the message is prepare yourself for these new beginnings, okay? Um, detach yourself from whatever you need to let go of. Um, leave the past in the past and be be ready to welcome the new energy that is coming your way this month because it, it is great, okay? Um, with the Eight of Cups, this is talking about walking away, detaching, emotionally detaching from a situation actual physical physical movement physically walking away from something or someone um or um cutting ties with the past and allowing for healing to come in okay so you could be leaving your job uh, because you're starting a new job you could be leaving your job because you're starting your own business you could be leaving a relationship because you have a new relationship coming in um you could be just leaving emotional troubles behind because you have a newfound vision and, and new passion and drive for something. So you're done with the drama. You're done with um, other people's drama. Okay. You're ready to move on into a, a more creative space, a more expansive um, space. Okay. The Ace of Rods is something that is um, really, really great potential. Okay. Because it is an Ace. So that is the potential is being offered to you. There is... Um, something being offered to you but it is just in the beginning stages there's still a lot of work that needs to to go in to expand this opportunity however with the ace of rods it's so much creative energy and so much um growth and expansion okay attached to this card that you take the rod okay you you hold on to it you grab the opportunity and then you have all these flowers and and leaves that are still um still to come okay so it's like one opportunity one door opens and when you walk through it you see another 20 doors open for you okay so it's that kind of energy and with the eight of cups this is something you're definitely ready for this is something you have been working towards okay and this may be um in the outside world or on an internal level um preparing yourself to let go of a heavy burden preparing yourself to let go of something that has been emotionally taxing um so you're really ready to move forward okay so definitely new jobs or promotions okay climbing up the ladder definitely possible uh, new jobs, new careers even. You could be walking away from a certain type of career and you're starting your own, your dream career. Um, starting new relationships, walking away from emotional troubles um, and starting a new relationship. Okay, it's just really, really awesome energy for you. June is going to be a big month. Um, so I suggest you make the best of it, okay? Um, I feel like a lot of you will have already felt this feeling, this uh, state um, that the Eight of Cups talks about where you feel like you're ready to move on, you feel like you're ready to let go of something and embrace something new 
it's just taken a while for things to come together in order for you to actually do it okay but this is the month when you can do that for the first week we have the queen of swords with the page of pentacles so you're receiving an invitation from this queen of swords okay some of you so if this is in relationships and this is an air sign coming in um um, offering you something, inviting you to um, get together, spend time together, communicate. Okay, the Queen of Swords is all about communication. Um, and so with the Page of Pentacles, this is an offer being extended to you. Okay, so this is something that is coming in to heal whatever emotional uh, trauma, emotional difficulties you have been dealing with. Um, this person is very direct. Okay, this is an air sign, a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. And this person is very, very direct, okay? They're straight to the point. If they like you, they will come up to you and say it, okay? They're very outspoken. Um, they like to talk a lot. I feel like you may have been talking a lot already, potentially online, and now you're getting together, or you're just meeting this person now, and I feel like they like to talk a lot, okay? They, they talk a lot. They talk about everything. They're interested in whatever is interesting. Um, and so I feel like this person is extending some kind of invitation to you to get to know each other better, okay? Um, with the Page of Pentacles, um, it is also making me think of a job situation. The Page of Pentacles is also good news. The Page of Pentacles is invitations. Um, you're being invited to get together in, in an interview setting okay you're being invited to interviews you're being invited to um, official meetings of sorts okay with the queen of swords there you are being offered a job all right with the page of pentacles um and again this is something that you're gonna have to learn some stuff for okay this is something that you're not an expert in yet um there's a lot for you to do there's a lot for you to learn and a lot of experience to be gained in this position but with the Page of Pentacles, um, really do your best, um, work your hardest because you have a guarantee that this will take you to a really secure place uh, financially, uh, mentally, emotionally, okay? This is going to be a really, really good um, position for you to be in for a few years from now perhaps and when you're ready to move on, this will be an incredible stepping stone for you, okay? It's going to, like I say, open up a lot more possibilities for you than you know, okay? Um... What else are we seeing? For those of you who are applying for higher education or to get yourselves into courses, uh, training courses, um, uh, higher education, seminars, workshops, anything like that, um, I feel like this is a really good month for you. You're going to get good news about this. For those of you who have been applying for a loan to get a business off the ground, um, this is also good news coming your way this month and you are receiving the money. This is also money coming your way, money that is being offered to you for you to invest, okay, for you to invest in um, your future. Um, for some of you, you may have to travel, you may have to relocate. Some of you may have to travel for the new uh, job, okay? Um, and it could also be some kind of um, informal setting for your interview, like on uh, over the internet, okay? Because um, there's there's a sense of communication from different locations you're in one location and your interviewer is in a different location so you have to connect via Skype or over the phone um, or anything like that and if, the, if this is the case because I feel like you may be on a trip when this is going on if this is the case um, it's gonna go great you just have to be um, yourself you have to present yourself in a professional uh, way um, don't be afraid to speak up definitely don't be afraid to speak your mind because um, it's going to help. For the second week, we have the lovers with the king of rods. 
Okay, so for some of you, this is directly linked to the first week because in the second week, um, in the first week, you're receiving the offer, okay? They're talking to you, they're telling you they like you, they're telling you they want you on board, you're agreeing stuff. And for the second week, with the lover's card, uh, you're actually getting the contract, okay? This is paperwork, this is commitment, official commitments, okay? So, um, so for some of you, this is you reviewing that paperwork, making sure that everything's okay, making sure that all your terms are met, that everything you've agreed to is included in that contract. Um, and then just just going ahead with it, okay? Um, with the King of Rods in there, this is talking to me about, this is an, a, a, a significant position. This is a position where you will be in charge of your own work um, schedule. You will be in, in charge of your own workload. Um, you're going to be expected to manage your own time, manage your own workload. Um, um, I'm hearing deputize or prioritize your own work or delegate, okay? Work with other people, um, but actually telling them what to do, okay? Because we do have the king of rods. He is the entrepreneur. He is the man with the plan. He's the man with the solution. So I feel like um, whatever, jo whatever, whatever job this is, um, like I say, you're in charge pretty much of everything that you're doing. Um, I feel like there's going to be just a few other people above you, okay? But I feel like you're pretty much going to have to figure it out on your own. Um, and again, you will be telling other people what to do. I feel like people are going to be coming to you for a solution of some sort. Um, answers, guidance, um, support of some sort. And I feel like you're going to give them the solution. And tell other people a team of other pe people that you're working with show them how to implement it okay and then you're just supervising them while they implement your solution okay something like that because the the king of rods is the man with the idea okay um he doesn't usually um have the patience um to see something through okay just one thing his mind is in five places at once He's thinking about five different avenues at once, at least. And so I feel like you are the higher thinker, okay, the high thinker. You come up with the solution, you come up with the answer, and then you um, teach everyone else what that is, how they're supposed to do it, and then it's just up to them to implement it and manage it, okay? And with you, you could be just coming in and consulting every now and then, okay? It's not up to you to do the heavy lifting, is, is what I'm trying to say. For others, this is, again, uh, talking about love, okay, with the lover's card. This is really, uh, I feel like a significant encounter is going to be happening around the second week. Um, you could be on a trip when you meet this person, and this person could be a fire sign, okay, an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius, because you have the Ace of Rods and the King of Rods. Um, it could also be a Gemini with the lover's card, okay, um, and this is a very significant meeting, I feel like... Um, like I say, you could be on a trip when you meet, meet this person. Um, alternatively, you're meeting this person in an unusual setting, I'm getting, okay? Because with the King of Rods, he's always trying different things, new things, okay? He um, is trying new places every night to eat dinner, to go out, and stuff like that. So for you, I feel like it's when you step outside your comfort zone and you try something new. You're in a new location, in a new restaurant, in a new club, um, new location for your business or anything like that is when you meet this person and for some of you um this is really a mature person and um, they're very you know collected calm collected they know what they want from life and so when they see you and when you uh, connect um i feel like they're already going to know okay they're going to be in the position of the lovers they're going to know that they have a future with you and I feel like there's going to be an unspoken commitment to each other that happens then and there. And this person is very, very passionate, okay? So um, I feel like um, it's going to be up to the both of you to find a balance because they're very, very fiery and... Um, you're okay with that, just not each and every single day, I feel. Um, but I feel like you're going to be able to find some, some sort of balance for this because this is a good relationship with the lover's card in there. 
And I feel like with the Eight of Cups, um, there is a commitment that is required because either you or this fire, fire sign uh, may have to travel for work or for studies, anything like that. And so you may not be able to see each other every day. And so that's where this commitment comes in that we're going to make it work, okay? You may have to be um, in a, in a long-distance relationship for a few weeks or a couple of months, something like that. Um, and if this is the case, you don't have to worry about it, okay? With the Lover's Card in there, it's telling you that this relationship is uh, going to um, be able to take that, okay? Take that kind of separation because I feel like both of you are going to be making efforts to come back um, together, to connect, uh, spend time together, or speak you know, often. Um, for others, this is definitely paperwork you're dealing with to start your own business with the King of Rods and the Ace of Rods. Like I say, he's the entrepreneur. He's the man who starts a business, gets it going, um, makes it successful, and then either starts a new one or sells this one and starts a new one or two more. Um, so you're starting your own business potentially, okay? For a lot of you, you're becoming self-employed. Um, and so you're getting the paperwork, you're reviewing the paperwork, you're making sure you have all the um, permits, approvals, anything you need to be uh, in good standing. And this is your creation, this is your baby, this company. Um, this is something you're very passionate about. Um, this is something you know a lot about, but you still have um, stuff to learn, okay? You always have new, new things to learn. Uh, to keep up. This could be something to do with information or technology where it's always um, evolving so you have to keep up with the times. So you're always on the go so to speak because you're always learning new things and adapting your business to, to be um, updated, okay? Uh, but definitely you're going to have a lot of ideas, whether you're starting a new job or a new business or a new career. Um, you're going to have a lot of ideas. Definitely write them down. Make sure you don't forget any of them because all of them that are coming now to you um, are very, very useful for you. Okay, So you can write them down and then just put them in, in order. Just figure out what you can do now, what you can do later. Um, prioritize, okay? But it's really, really, really good energy. Also, if you have any kind of conversations or negotiations with people in authority, um, they're going to go well, okay? Uh, try to separate emotions from this. Um, this is someone who's very creative, very um, busy, more importantly. So try to go straight to the point when you have negotiations or any kind of conversations with this kind of uh, person. Um, go straight to the point, be professional. Um, tell them exactly what it is that you're after, tell them what you're, you know, not liking, what you would like to see, what you need, so on and so forth. Um, because, um, if you, if you mix emotion into that, you're going to lose him, okay? He's going to lose interest, his mind is going to start wandering, drifting to his own ideas, okay? When you keep him engaged with short and two to point sentences, you're going to get a lot more out of these conversations. When it comes to the third week, we have the King of Pentacles. Okay, so this is uh, really good. And the Five of Rods. So I feel like it's it's all about career, okay? For some of you, the entire month is about your career and your financial situation improving, increasing, becoming more stable. Because with the King of Pentacles, I feel like uh, you're seeing a payout, okay? You're seeing some kind of increase in your money. Um, but this is to do with work you have done prior to this, okay? Your financial situation is really, really good. Um, you're feeling comfortable. You're feeling secure. Um, this does not mean you're becoming a millionaire overnight. It's just what you have is comfortable. What you have is okay. You have enough to, uh, you know, pay your bills and debts and whatever. Buy some nice things. Put some money aside and then just go on day-to-day -day life, okay? Um, so you're feeling rich. You're feeling abundant and prosperous. You're feeling good. Um... And again, this is something that is stable. This is something that is not going to go away tomorrow. With the Five of Rods, um, this is a card that often shows up when um, we are talking about a new job because the Five of Rods could definitely show up when we have on-the-job training. Okay, so you could be talking about training, what kind of training you need in this new position, uh, what you need to make it the best that you, it can be. Um, 
uh, anything like that what kind of uh, courses you need to take what kind of classes what kind of training what kind of um, um, presentations you need to attend workshops seminars anything like that okay so you're learning on the job definitely for some of you this is what that is um, for others I'm seeing that there's definitely an increase in pay okay that's that's coming in for you um, in the third week or around the third week of the month um, this may be some kind of payout from the job that you're leaving some kind of back payments or anything that was owed to you um, I feel like if you do leave if you still have ties to cut or loose ends um, in your old business I feel like they're not going to be really happy that you're going but at the same time they cannot offer you what this new job is offering you and that may be in terms of money uh, work style uh, position responsibilities and so on because the five of rods is also a card of competition so your old job may try to talk you into staying but first of all you're ready to go secondly um, I feel like they're not going to be able to top the new job I feel like even if they do match the amount um, it's a struggle okay on this side of the fence of the old job it's a constant struggle I feel like any kind of amount of money that it comes your way needs to be justified as if you know they don't know that you do a lot of work and so on so I feel like you're ready to move on no matter what they say no matter what they have to offer your decision is made you're, you're heading towards the Ace of Rods, you're heading towards the new job because it's a lot more secure, okay, for the future, in terms of the future as well. It's not just about the money, it's more responsibility, it's a lot more experience to be gained, a lot more investments that are made in you as an employee, okay, because they are giving you training, um, any kind of courses that you need, no matter how expensive they are, they're going to help you get them. Um, they're giving you credit, they're giving you, the, you know, uh, responsibilities, they trust you to do your work. Like I say, they're coming to you to consult. They're not there to tell you what to do and push you, okay? And always be, you know, nagging you and on your back. But definitely increase financial situation. This could also be, for others of you, this is money coming in from a competition. Um, for some of you, you're start, you have interviews during the third week um, or you're applying for something and this king of pentacles could represent a better position or it could represent the person who needs to um, choose the, the right candidate. Okay? But you do have the Ace of Rods in there and the Eight of Cups, so this is telling you don't worry. Um, let your work speak for itself. Uh, focus on the quality of the job that you're doing, your dedication, present yourself um, in that way, let your work speak for, for, for you. Um, and this person is really going to like you, okay, with the King of Pentacles. Because you do have the Ace of Rods, so they're giving you the job, they're offering you the job. This is also uh, new projects coming in for you, okay. I'm, I'm getting mostly a career feeling, okay, for the entire month. Um, so this is a big project that is coming your way and they're giving you a team to manage, okay? You are the King of Pentacles, you have, um, you, it's up to you to come up with a plan um, they're giving you the resources and it's yours to do with whatever you think is best. So it's your ideas, your creativity, um, you're coming up with the plans, with the ideas, with the solutions, they're just giving you the money and the, uh, the responsibility of a project manager. There may be some uh, tempers flaring, okay, during the month of June, because with the Five of Rods, it can be a card that talks about petty fighting, um, a bit of, um, you know, people trying to outdo each other. Um, it could be, um, like I say, people losing their temper, people, you know, with a the, with the short fuse when it comes to patience, and the Ace of Rods could also be a card that expresses a moment of anger or a moment of outburst when you're done with the situation, that's it, it's 
too dramatic for you and it's not worth it okay and it could be to do with um, a father figure within your family or or your siblings okay or some close friends that seem to you know feel like siblings someone you spend a lot of time with and this could be over money or it could be over the family home or um, the the family possessions or your possessions I feel like they may be uh, coming at you to give them money give them loans um, and you know it's your money you work for it you shouldn't have to give it away just because they're lazy or whatever it's not your responsibility and so there may be some you know um, negative words going back and forth and I feel like with the ace of rods you're having that moment of outburst and you're telling them you know what that's it I'm done um, I can't this is not worth it just um, leave me alone for a couple of months and you're just done with it and you may be actually physically walking away from that situation or you're emotionally detaching from it okay no matter what they say what they do you're not gonna let it get to you anymore okay you know what's important you know what's yours what your responsibilities are and what you know the the responsibilities of other people are that you're not responsible for um, and so you're in your happy place whatever they say whatever they do you're thinking about your own creative ideas you've got your plans so that's really really good and I feel like okay if if um, if you have a lot of suitors this month okay in a romantic sense if you have a, a lot of suitors um, I feel like they're really gonna try to outdo each other they're gonna try to show off and impress you um, but I feel like you're going to be drawn to an earth sign, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. Someone who's very down to earth, very practical, genuine, okay? They're just being themselves. Um, they're being kind. They're being given, generous. Um, and so that's how they win you over, okay? And there's a, a, there's a passion that is um, s ignited between the two of you, okay? And it could also be chosen for some kind of business partnership with the King of Pentacles, okay? This could be an, inverse, an investor in your business because he's the man with the money. And there's some sort of competition, so a lot of people are trying to get his attention uh, to invest in their business, but I feel like he's choosing you. And again, because you're presenting yourself in a professional way, um, you're being real, you're letting your work speak for itself, you're not trying to show off or go overboard because he's not interested in that, okay? He's interested in the facts, he's very business savvy, um, he is interested in the business and not what some guy is saying about the business to pitch it to him, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. For the last week, we have the Page of Cups and the Eight of Swords. Okay, so for some of you, I feel like this is communication coming your way from a water sign, a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Okay, this is this is communication coming your way from someone you want to w move away from. Um, it could be an ex that is trying to reconcile with you. They're trying to get you back, uh, win you back by that, I mean. And so you're ready to move on. But there's still passion there. There's still feelings there. Um, and so with the Eight of Swords, you're torn between the two. You don't know what to what to do. You feel like you're ready to move on. But at the same time, there's something holding you back. Um, and so you're really confused. You're feeling stuck. You don't know what to do. You don't want to make the wrong decision. Okay, with the Eight of Swords, what I will say is you're thinking about it too much. Okay, you're in your head too much. Uh, and so uh, you're not seeing things clearly. Okay, you're thinking about it so much that you, you're blurring the lines of of what is and what isn't so what I would say is take a step back okay try to detach yourself emotionally from the situation as difficult as it may sound and look at it for what it is okay uh, be realistic be practical try doing pros and cons or um, the good times versus the bad times is it worth it and um, be logical about it okay try to be realistic and rational when you make this decision okay uh, but the, the thing to remember is you're not stuck, okay? It's up to you. You can do whatever it is that you want to, okay? There's no one holding you back. There's no one that has the right to hold you back. Um, and you don't have to explain yourself to anyone. You can do exactly what you feel makes you happy, okay? Um, okay, for some of you, um, I feel like you're ready to um, be done with love life for a little bit i feel like you're preparing yourself to be single for a little bit in order to focus on your career and sorry about that so you're uh, preparing yourself 
you know, mentally, emotionally, you're saying, you know what, I'm going to be single for a while, um, I'm done with drama, I'm done with all of that, uh, it's time for me to get together, you know, collect myself and focus on my career, focus on my business, my creative projects. And out of the blue, you have this page of cups coming in, expressing their feelings for you and asking you out and getting to know you better and being romantic with you, okay? And this is someone who could be younger than you or someone who is young at heart, okay? They've been through a lot, but they seem like um, a kid still, okay? They laugh, they have fun, they enjoy themselves. This is someone who's very creative, very artistic, uh, can be a bit, you know, um, dreamy in the sense of they daydream, okay? And so I feel like you're ready to move on and focus on your career, move on from your love life and focus on your career. And then you have this person coming in, uh, you know, telling you beautiful and romantic things. And so with the Eight of Swords, you're torn because you've got a really good career coming in for you. You've got a lot of potential happening in your career. But then you have this beautiful person telling you these beautiful things. And so you don't know what to do. Okay. Again, if this is the case, um, try to make the best decision for you. Only you know what that is. Try to detach yourself from the situation. Take emotion out of the equation just for a little bit. Um, try to be real about it, okay? Try to look at the situation for what it is. Um, is this someone who's going to be here today and gone tomorrow? So it's not really going to be worth it. You can just go ahead and focus on your career. Or is this someone who's really genuine and really truly wants to get to know you and there's a lot of potential for this relationship, in which case maybe it's worth giving them a chance and trying to balance both career and relationship, okay? Remember, no matter what decision you make now, it's not the end all of things, okay? Uh, you can adjust, you can adapt, you can try to balance things out in your life. Um, and this person may end up, uh, you know, being very supportive and very understanding and helping you with everything, okay, to balance everything and not make you feel guilty or um, in any kind of way because you're trying to work on your career as well, okay? Remember, this is someone who's very loving and very generous, very understanding, um, who wants to be there for you and support you, okay? Okay. Um, what else? Yeah, I'm getting just a, an offer of love coming your way. They definitely weren't expecting. Some loving words coming your way, some beautiful compliments, some romantic uh, words coming your way, sparking your passion. And this is also good news that comes in for you to do with your creative projects, okay, with the Ace of Rods and the Page of Cups, your creative projects, your artistic projects, or uh, your baby, what your baby is, okay, in terms of a project or a job or, or a business, a hobby, anything like that, okay? You have good news coming in, um, and I feel like it's taking you um, on an unexpected path, and so that's where maybe the Eight of Swords comes in, okay? If this is the case, again, you know, try new things, be open-minded, see where it takes you, connect with your intuition, definitely figure out what you want to do, um, and remember, all you can do is make the best decision for you at this time, okay? As long as you're not hurting anyone, you don't owe anyone any explanations. You just have to follow your dreams, follow your heart, okay? But there you have it. It should be, you know, a really good month. Please do let me know, okay? Because I'm seeing stuff in the cards, but unless people get back to me and give me some feedback, um, I'm not really sure as to uh, if what I'm saying makes sense to anyone or not. So please let me know how the cards make sense to you and how your month is going. Okay, thank you so much for being here with me for uh, all the support that you send my way. Um, it is truly, truly appreciated. I hope you have a fantastic month and I will talk to you soon. Take care.